let's go ahead and spend some time creating and talking about this user cost of capital and um, expected marginal product of capital graph and showing the optimal level of capital. So again, we're going to measure the overall level of capital here on the horizontal line. On the uh, vertical axis, we're going to measure both the user cost of capital and the level of MPK. So remember, both the user cost of capital and MPK, these are in real terms. So this is uh, in the number of output. So both of these uh, is going to be measured in the number of output, right? So the user cost of capital is how much output is uh, going to be, it's going to cost for the next unit and marginal product of capital is how much output is going to be created in the next unit. So this is like usual, this is a marginal benefit equals marginal cost type optimization problem. And we know that our marginal benefit is this expected marginal product capital of uh, or expected marginal product of capital. That's what the E is for there. And the user cost of capital we said is going to be a straight line because it doesn't change with capital. Right now we're assuming there's no bulk discounts, etc. So this is the level of the user cost of capital. Let me fix that, make it look a little cleaner. And so this is going to be the user cost of capital. If there were numbers with this, you'd put the, the uh, value of the user cost of capital there. Where they cross, right? This is our profit maximizing point, right? Our profit maximizing point is the user cost of capital equal to MPKE, where MPKE is our benefit, the user cost of capital is our cost of what we're doing. So this is K star. So what we're looking at here, right? This is K star, this is that optimal level of capital. So it's at the point where user cost of capital is greater than MPK. What happens if we are at a different point, right? What happens if we're over here? Let's say this is K prime, right? So what do we know at K prime? What we know is that K prime, we see that the user cost of capital is greater than the marginal product of capital, right? We see user cost of capital up here, marginal cost cap or marginal product capital. So cost is greater than benefit. So that means we need to decrease my amount of capital and we'll see this start to move here to maximize profits to get back down to K star. Because as we decrease our amount of capital, the marginal product of capital starts to increase. The user cost of capital is staying the same until we get back to the point that maximizes profits. The same idea is said if we have K, let's call this K double prime, right at K double prime, we see that the user cost is less than the marginal product of capital. And so what that means is that the marginal cost is less than the benefit. We can pull this all the way up. We see the benefits up here, the cost is down here. The way that we maximize profits is then we continue to buy capital, right? Because capital is cheaper than the benefit that we're getting from it. So we continue to buy it. We're gonna move along both of these and we are going to get again to the that profit maximizing point. So we're always gonna look at where the user cost capital equals marginal product of capital. This is the diagram that we're gonna use to analyze this in order to get our optimal level of capital, which is represented down here as K star.